Hi. Hello, sixth grade. Um, I'm coming to you guys from my home office, and I'm doing this video so that we can go over your grammar that you did the other day, the predicate adjective predicate noun. So get out your worksheet, pages 81 and 82. Most of you sent these to me. If you did not do it, then you still have to do it. You can't copy down the answers now and, and pretend like you did it. Please be honest. Um, I'm not sure how to get rid of the glare that's on my glasses, so I apologize for the fact that my eyes look really weird. Can't do anything about it. I don't know. I'm not a YouTube expert. Just do my best. Okay, so we're looking at pages 81 and 82. I don't want to go over these because some of you made some mistakes and I wanted to make sure that you were able to fix them. Now, after we go over this, if you find that you made a lot of mistakes, then you need to go back and look at the videos again and rework it so that you can get this because it's an important skill for you to know how to find your predicate adjectives and predicate nouns. And we're going to be moving on to direct objects and indirect objects and it all builds. Okay, grammar builds just like math does. So you have to get the previous concepts first before you get these. Now, if you're still having trouble, you can email me and I'll try and find some other videos for you or um, do some kind of presentation or, or something. But for now, I'm going to go over kind of the answers for you. Now, you only find a predicate noun and a predicate adjective with a linking verb. If it's an action verb, you're not going to find a predicate adjective or a predicate noun. So if there's an action verb, you're looking more for a direct object or an indirect object, which is in a later lesson. In fact, you guys will be learning about direct objects today after you watch this video. But predicate adjectives and predicate nouns follow linking verbs. And what they are is it's the other word that is linked to the subject. So you have the subject, you have the linking verb, and you have what the linking verb is linking the subject to. It's either an adjective or a noun. Now you have to remember that a noun is a person, place, thing, or idea, and an adjective describes a noun and is a describing word. So that's the only difference really between a predicate noun and a predicate adjective is that one's a noun and one's an adjective. In, in every other way, they're the same. They're in the same place of the sentence. They have the same function. The linking verb is simply linking them together, okay? So we have number one on page 81. Put my book up here maybe so I can kind of look at you and look at my book at the same time. The students were very eager for the game. Now, the directions want you to put parentheses around the prepositional phrases, which you should be able to do. We memorize prepositions. You should be able to find them. Remember that a prepositional phrase always starts with a preposition and then ends with the object. Sometimes there's words in the middle, but you're looking for those prepositions. Um, and then you're going to label the subject, the linking verb, the predicate nouns, and predicate adjectives. Now, these are not tricky. They all have, they're all linking verbs. They all have either a predicate adjective or a predicate noun. They're not asking you to tell the difference between the two in this lesson. So number one, the students were very eager for the game. Your preposition is for. So you're going to put parentheses around for the game. Then you're going to label your subject, which is students. Linking verb is were. And eager is your predicate adjective. How can we tell it's a predicate adjective? Well, because eager is an adjective and it's describing the students. So in the blank, you're going to write S L V P A for your sentence pattern. Number two, the first football teams were college teams from Princeton and Rutgers College. Your prepositional phrase begins with the preposition from. So you're going to put parentheses before from. And then you're going to do that whole phrase from Princeton and Rutgers College, end parenthesis. Then your subject is teams. It's not football because football is describing what kind of teams. It's teams. This linking verb is were, and they're linking teams is the predicate noun. I know it seems weird, but we're linking first football teams to college teams. So teams is getting linked to teams, okay? So and teams is a noun. So you have subject, your, your sentence pattern is going to be S, L, V, P, N, predicate noun. Then number three, the players look weary at halftime. At halftime is our prepositional phrase. It starts with the preposition at. Then we have players as our subject. Look is the linking verb. And weary is a predicate adjective. It's describing the players. So your sentence pattern is S, L, V, P, A. 
Then number four, after the game, their uniforms are dirty. After the game is a prepositional phrase, beginning with the preposition after. So after the game should be in parentheses. Then our subject is uniforms. The linking verb is are. And dirty is being linked to uniforms. Dirty is an adjective. So it's a PA, predicate adjective. So your sentence pattern on the line is S-L-V-P-A. So that is page 81. Now let's look at page 82. Now it's pretty much more of the same. You're just doing the same things that we did before. Um, so here we have number one, football is a popular sport. This sentence does not have a prepositional phrase. Football is the subject, is is your linking verb, and sport is the predicate noun. Football is being linked to sport. So your sentence pattern is S-L-V-P-N. Then in number two, football was a sport for the first time around 19, 1896. This sentence has two prepositional phrases in it. The first one begins with for, which is for the first time, parentheses around, for the first time. Then we have the preposition around, which gives us the prepositional phrase around 1869. You should have parentheses around that one as well. Then our subject is football. The linking verb is were. And again, we have sport as the predicate noun. Football is being linked to sport. So your sentence pattern is S-L-V-P-N. Then number three, the first game of football was very violent. Now this sentence is sort of tricky because of football is your prepositional phrase, beginning with the preposition of. And it's right in the middle of the sentence, which makes it a little bit tricky to pick out all the different parts. When you put that in parentheses, it should make it easier. Your subject is game. Your linking verb is was. And violent is the predicate adjective. G game is being linked to violent. So that's predicate adjective. So your sentence pattern is S-L-V-P-A. Then in number two, the players were often unsafe without protective helmets. Subject, you have without protective helmets is your prepositional phrase. Players is the subject, were is the linking verb, and then unsafe is a predicate adjective. It describes the players. The players were unsafe. Well, of course they were without helmets. They played football for a really long time before they decided to protect their heads. Anyways, now they wear all kinds of pads. But used to be, and you can see from the picture on the page, here's this guy that has pretty much no padding on at all. Uh, five, the length of a football field is 100 yards. Of a football field is your prepositional phrase. Length is the subject. Linking verb is is. And predicate noun is yards. So length is being linked to yards. So your sentence pattern here is subject, linking verb, predicate noun. I feel like I skipped something. No, maybe not. Okay. Sorry if I skipped one. You can let me know in the comments or something. <laughs> maybe we'll fix it. <laughs> All right, where was I? Uh, number six, in football history, Kurt Bioris is famous. In football history is a prepositional phrase beginning with the word in. Prep in is a preposition. Then we have Kurt Bioris as your subject. And it's okay for two words to be a subject when it's a proper noun, like a, like a formal name. Is is our linking verb and famous is a predicate adjective. Kick it's linked to Kurt Burris. He is famous. Number seven, he was a center for the Oklahoma Sooners. Your preposition in this sentence is for, and your prepositional phrase is going to be for the Oklahoma Sooners. The subject is he, the linking verb is was, and center is a predicate noun. Number eight, on the field, his tackles were fierce. On the field is your prepositional phrase. On is the preposition. Field is the object of the preposition. So your parentheses go around on the field. His tackles were fierce. Tackles is the subject. Linking verb is were. Fierce is a predicate adjective describing the tackles. So your sentence pattern is S-L-V-P-A. Terry Bradshaw was a quarterback for Louisiana Tech. For Louisiana Tech is our prepositional phrase. For is the preposition. 
Terry Bradshaw is the subject. Again, it's a proper name, so you can go ahead and mark both Terry and Bradshaw as, as the subject. Then was is the linking verb, and quarterback is our predicate noun. It's linked to Terry Bradshaw. Number 10, during the football season, the weather feels very cold. During football season is a prepositional phrase. During is a preposition. So put that in parentheses. Then weather is our subject, feels is our linking verb, and cold is the predicate adjective. So your sentence pattern is S-L-V-P-A. And then I want you to do the apply and write. And now the tricky part about writing things is using a predicate noun or a predicate adjective. So you need to make sure that in your sentences you have what it's asking for. And I noticed with some of you that you used a predicate adjective in both sentences or a predicate noun in both sentences. You know the difference between a noun and an adjective. An adjective is a describing word, a noun is a person, place, thing, or idea. So go back and check your sentences. Make sure that number one, you actually used a predicate noun, and in number two, you used a predicate adjective. And also make sure that you're not using prepositional phrases and thinking that that's a predicate noun or a predicate adjective, because that's another common mistake that people make. So check over these. If you feel like you need some more practice, go back and watch the, the linking verb videos. Go back and watch the predicate noun and predicate adjective videos and work it again. Make sure that you get this so that you'll be ready to learn about direct objects next. And have a wonderful day. I miss you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.